Uh, switching gears, uh, Swerve then announces that he will indeed be participating in Blood and Guts uh, after the Elite invited him to uh, join the match on their team. However, he will be joining Team uh, AEW as you cannot have a Team AEW without the AEW World Champion, as he said uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, Swerve talks about how they are now in the Dynasty era, which is the first I'm hearing of that. Uh, <laughs> it's been it's been being taught it's been tossed around on social media for the last couple of weeks that I've noticed, maybe the last month or so that this is the dynasty era. I, I don't know how I really feel about it. Is that from the name of the pay-per-view? I, 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 I don't know. I don't know where it came from, but it's been, it, it's tonight was not the first time I've heard it. It is the first time I've heard it on TV though. Weirdly enough though, first time I've heard it uh, at in general, I haven't seen it on Reddit. I'm not on Twitter or wrestling Twitter that much. So outside of oh, you're, missing out, account. Me, you're missing out, <laughs> but uh, I thought it was interesting, but as uh, Swerve says that, he says that there are three men appointed to lead this era. Himself, because he has the AEW World Championship, Will Ospreay, the AEW International Champion, and Kazushka Okada, who is the AEW Continental Champion. Uh, he, then, he then calls Okada out and challenges him to a match next week, uh, saying he'll truly show Okada how to make it rain, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Swerve then finishing, uh, finishes things off by saying he's going to do two things Brian was unable to do. Beat Will Ospreay and lead Team AEW to a victory in uh, Blood and Guts before he uh, goes to Wendley and begins Brian's final countdown. Uh, so uh, the Okada match, James, was uh, made official for next week. So another huge headliner match for AEW uh, Dynamite 250. But this was a 